I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Bernie Sanders got some laughs on Tuesday night's Democratic presidential debate in Las Vegas, one of which came after he said to Hillary Clinton that everybody's tired of hearing about your darn emails. And no, I'm not going to send you a thousand dollars so you can arrange to send me ten million. You really think I'm going to trust somebody like you? NASA reports they've received images that show Pluto has blue skies and frozen water. No, I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, those were images of Sweden. Okay, I'm sorry. False alarm, people. Every person emits a unique blend of microbes into the air, and this microbial cloud is personalized enough that it could be used to identify people. There's a new study, and it finds trillions of bacteria live on and in the human body. Well, together, these bacteria make up what researchers call the human microbiome. In this experiment, eight people were asked to sit in the chamber for two 90-minute periods. Researchers say they were surprised to find they could identify most of the occupants just by sampling their microbial cloud. They also found that mostly we all resemble Pigpen from the Peanuts comic strip a lot more than we'd like. A jury ruled against a New York woman who was suing her then eight-year-old nephew for $127,000 after he excitedly greeted her by jumping into her arms, which she says broke her wrist. Not only did the judge disagree with the woman, but ordered her to immediately return to her nephew a world's greatest ant coffee mug. Castrol announced that it's developed a new technology that results in a full oil change in just 90 seconds, which means that NASCAR pit crews should be able to do it in about negative three seconds. A drunk, one-legged man in the UK was so frustrated with a flat tire that he started shooting at a mechanic's garage with an air rifle. Police arrested the man, who admitted he had been drinking. Okay, no, wait a minute. We got a person with one leg, an air rifle, drinking. Are we sure this isn't an episode of My Name is Earl? Donald Trump gets mentioned on social media seven times more than any other Republican presidential candidate. Granted, it's mostly accompanied by a lot of profanity, but he does get mentioned, and that's what's important to him. A Vermont chocolate factory worker apparently hated his job enough to want to get fired, so he allegedly called in a bomb threat. Police say 22-year-old Christopher Pregant stole a co-worker's cell phone and made the false threat under a different worker's name to the Barry Calibut Chocolate Factory in St. Albans. They say Pregant then threw the phone in a toilet tank calling in a false bomb threat. I mean, that's one thing, but dropping somebody else's phone into a toilet? I mean, that that's grounds for justifiable homicide right there. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. <laughs>